Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. You're not new. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video, okay? First things first on the menu. It seems like SZA and Drake's latest song, Slime You Out, will be going number one on Billboard Hot 100. That's right. I said it. Number one, okay? Now, this is great. Now, this is to me, it's great for SZA because SZA doesn't really have the main number ones under her belt for real. For real. So this is really going to give her a nice little boost, a nice little boost. And um, I think it's good. But in all honesty, the song is ass. Yeah, I said it, the song is ass. Boring. Um, and when I say that, I don't mean that to be like shady or rude. I'm just being honest. The song is ass. I tried to get into it yesterday. I tried to keep playing it over and over again. Um, I couldn't get into it. I just, uh, what's going on? Messy boots. Um, corny. You know, when it's not, well, it's not really corny. It's just it's just boring. Um, so somebody's lying about that. Um, but in my opinion, though, hey, as long as SZA gets her number one, I don't care how she gets it. She needs more number ones under her belt because she be putting that work in her career. She definitely do. So Drake getting number one, I'm not shocked. It's Drake. So, I mean, he always gets his number ones. You know, he always got that radio play on deck. But this song is getting a lot of streams and people are really anticipating Drake's new album. So they're going to tune into any little single he drops until his album comes out. OK, um, but people are saying that, you know, the whole Halle Berry album cover situation has not even been solved yet. Halle Berry got an inbox from Drake asking for permission and she told him no to use her face on the cover and he still used it anyway. Um, and she's not happy about that. So hey it'll be so sad to see a number one song with with your face on it without your permission that's just crazy um so we're gonna we're gonna pray for Halle Berry okay um we're gonna make sure she get her compensation all right the karma gonna come back real good let's move on to this next topic moving on y'all I want to start off with the good news first um because I know a lot of blogs and when I say blogs I mean like mainstream media blogs news outlets news corporations they aren't going to publish this at all and the fact that Nicki Minaj has recently flew out about eight to nine barbs female barbs um to go hang out with her you know they got like, they were vibing talking chatting eating you know just a nice little time and people I'm trying to tell you they're going to pan out to be this bitter woman but they don't talk about the good stuff they don't talk about you know the nice stuff that's going on behind the scenes they don't ever talk about that but as soon as something goes wrong in a tweet or she says this or that it's all over the headlines so I want to first let that be known. Um, yeah, that's the great thing that she did. I think that's really generous, really kind. And a lot of artists, well, no artists do that. Nobody's flying out their fans to their home um, to come chill, chill with them like, like their friends. Nobody's doing that, okay? Um, and yeah, that's my opinion on that. I think it was great. Some people were concerned. They were like, oh, well, Nikki, why are you doing that? You know, security reasons, security reasons. But I'm pretty sure the barbs aren't going to harm her. Calm the fuck down, okay? Take a chill pill. You just mad you wasn't there, and it's okay. Um, now, another thing I want to get into, y'all, is it seems like, you know, the Offset Cardi situation, all that rah-rah. Yeah, Nikki is having her, Nikki, get, Nikki is getting her licks in, okay? Nikki says that Cardi B looks like fucking George Washington, okay? That's basically what, <laughs> so, in Cardi's latest song called Bozos, she says, I look like money, you can print my face on a dollar, okay? And then now, we see Nicki Minaj post this on her, her story, and it's a dollar, but, George Washington is on the face. And if you look at the face card, it looks like Cardi. Okay. And to be quite honest with y'all, that face does give George Washington. That shit looks historic as fuck and botched. Historic and botched is what the face looks like. All right. Um, silly and goofy. All right. Hilarious. Now, okay. I think it's genuinely funny. You know, when you are funny like Nikki, all right, the jokes actually hit. Okay. And um, I was cracking up. I could, I was, I was cracking up. But now Cardi B is saying that um, Nicki Minaj is like Helga Pataki from Hey Arnold. In case you all don't know, Helga be stalking um, Arnold in the um, film. So it's basically like somebody who was always showing hate to somebody or whatever and, and stalking them or whatever. But this is my thing, okay, Cardi. Everything you do is an afterthought of Nicki Minaj. So I don't think you should be the one talking about anything in, in regards to somebody who's, who wants to be you or is obsessed with you. Cause nobody is obsessed with you, but your damn doctor. Okay. Cause they getting a lot of coins out of your ass for that face. So honestly, in my opinion, I think that um, Cardi B needs to go sit in timeout 
all right and think about her existence on this earth okay and really think about what is she doing here okay in regards to the rap game and the rap her rap career okay because honestly she needs to sit this one out um and then also nikki had posted about michael jackson you know because michael jackson was also um offset's character in his music music video okay so you know nikki is just she's you know think about nikki she gonna slowly throw shots on, on, on a chill mode but you know she just be joking for real she be joking but yes y'all what do y'all think about all this drama um it's a lot of sub tweeting going on and in order to really like catch it you have to actually like be kind of smart and actually pay attention to it because you know some people are gonna be like what do you mean like they're not talking about each other not... you have to listen and actually be like kind of aware and like peep the timing of the tweets of when one person posts another thing it's yeah you kind of just got to get it if you don't get it you don't get it and you can go be delulu somewhere else but let me know your opinion on that y'all we can discuss this down below in the comment section and yeah i will see you in the next topic okay all right y'all moving on okay i want to kind of clock this chris brown and tanache drama um it seemed like tanache did not like the fact she regretted the fact that she collaborated with chris brown um she hated it she was so upset with that she was like oh my gosh why did i ever do that because you know chris brown has all these allegations on him and all, you know you know everybody got something to say with chris brown so basically chris brown clocked back and said name five tanache songs or die and actually everybody did okay that's basically what he was saying now my opinion um Tanache, I, I mean, okay, I get it. it. You know, it's a trend to hit on Chris Brown, but I feel like y'all be so selective with these abusers and outrageous. Like, you do know there are people who, like, I'm not saying Chris Brown hasn't done anything wrong. I'm not going to sit up here and act like he's an angel or a saint. I'm not doing that. But why now do you come out and act like you are you are so against it? Like I don't know. I just I just I I, I think it's kind of weird. It's just kind of weird. Um, now in my opinion though, I do think that. Chris Brown was not was not wrong. We can't name five Tanache songs, and I love me some Tanache. But girl, you should have just hush. Um, you know, you should have just sat this one out. Um, you didn't have to drag Chris Brown's name in there with R. Kelly. That's my issue. You know, she, I get it. You were trying to do this and that, but she was dragging his name in there with R. Kelly. R. Kelly was doing things to kids, and Chris Brown was not doing that. So let's not go that way. Let's not do all that. Okay, that's just my opinion on that. Um, I feel like personally, people go too far. All right, they go too damn far. Okay. Um, yeah, that's just my opinion on that. What do you think about this? We can discuss it down below. Like I said, I'm not trying to make anybody seem like an angel or a saint. I'm just saying, let's stop with all this selective outrage. It's so much selective outrage that goes on nowadays, and it just becomes annoying. Um, let's move on to this next one. Moving on, okay. It seems like Tiana Taylor and Iman Shumpert have separated. Um, now, you know, there were reports of, of Iman cheating on her. Okay, so she did make it, make it very clear that, that was not the reason why she wanted to leave, okay? Um, now, in my opinion, I think this is all... I mean, I'm not shocked because everybody... Nowadays, everybody breaking up, everybody cheating, everybody screwing this person, everybody... It's just a lot going on. Um, everybody just breaking up, everybody getting divorced. It's just all that is going on right now. So I'm not surprised at all. Um, but honestly, deep down inside, I feel like Tiana Taylor wants to be with a woman, okay? That's that's the real problem. That's the real, that's the real tea. She want that coochie. Um, but I mean, hey, you know, nothing wrong with that at all. I'm not saying it's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that's I think that's what she wants. You know, I think she really wants that. Um, but hey, like I'm saying, I think that it's best to do what you want to do. If you feel like the relationship is no longer serving you, leave. And don't be don't be scared, don't be uncomfortable, don't be da-da-da. Just leave. And, and, and it may sound easier said than done, but once you put yourself first. Oh, you you gonna you gonna be so happy. You're gonna be so grateful and so thankful that you did that. Now, um, moving on, I do think that they may come back together eventually in the future. Yeah, I can see it happening. I can see them, you know, still hanging out and still being great co parents for sure. But I don't think they're done. You know, I think they're definitely gonna they're definitely soulmates. They're definitely soulmates. But Tiana wants a woman. Let's move on to this next topic. All right, child. Moving on, the billboard charts have came out this week. Um, and as you all know, last week I was talking about how the song was predicted to go number 15. And I was so wrong. Yeah, I was just so off. My prediction was so bad. Y'all, I got some I got some news for y'all. I was just so wrong. It didn't debut at 15. It debuted at 14. Oh, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Now, in my opinion, this is sad. You had a VMA, VMA performance, music video, sponsored posts on social media. You had 89,000 versions of it. You had a collab with Megan. You had the WAP 
expectations. You had all the TikTok promo. You had all the views on YouTube. You had all the hype. You had all the TikTok challenges just to do number 14. Ooh, that's not... That's not good. You did you, you you did two million dollars for the music video budget. You did a thousand interviews on the radio for this song, just to go fourteen. Mm, I don't know. It seems like the career is not career no more. Um, it's just not happening like that. Uh, but like I always say, the strip club is still open. You know, there's still demand for that. Um, but in my opinion, though, you know, you never know. The song may rise on the charts. The song may rise. You know, you know, you know. Cardi is known for having alleged payola, alleged payola. So you know, the payola may may come through. The payola may come through and you know save the day, like necessary. Um, but we're gonna see how it go. We're gonna see how it go, y'all. Okay. Um, yes. Let's move on to this next topic. And um, yeah. What's your opinion on that? Yeah. Let's move on. All right, y'all. Moving on. It seems like JT is. In a campaign with Beats by Dre. Um, and um, I love this for her. Now, everybody's not really rocking with the whole campaign. Um, you know, because the creative direction is very, like, stylish, advanced, and really camp. So, the aesthetic is very different. And people are kind of... They, I mean, she was kind of getting dragged for it. But in my opinion, I feel like I love it. You know, keep doing you. Um, a lot of black girls get clowned for being in high fashion and doing highly, highly aesthetic looks and things like that. And people are just, you know, just going on her. But I think that she should really, you know, embrace this. It's a really big moment for her. Beast by Dre collab is amazing. Um, so, yeah, I love to see it. What is your opinion on this? What do you think about the looks in the picture? Um, yeah, we can discuss this down below in the comment section. And I will see you all in the next video. Be safe.